Let's take a look at one of my favorite travel clothing companies. Uh, I think if you give them a try, you're probably gonna find that they'll be one of your favorite companies also. Let's dig into this. Welcome back people to the channel. Thanks for hanging out, thanks for checking this out. Like the beginning of the uh, video started out, uh, one of my favorite travel clothing companies out there and this has been uh, ongoing for, for a few years now. Uh, if you have not heard of Bluffworks, I recommend you check them out. Um, I got into Bluffworks, well first let me back up a little bit. I travel quite a bit for work, not as much as I used to, um, and I, I frequently found that the clothing that's out there in some of your normal consumer stores, if you were to go to your normal mall or whatever the case may be, it just didn't fit my need. Number one, things didn't fit right, I typically had to have it tailored, it didn't hold up, um, typically wore out, and I just didn't care for the design. If you have watched the channel, you know that I appreciate design details and some uniqueness to gear in general. And that also applies to my professional life. And so uh, typically for me, uh, at, at, again, as you've seen in some of my videos, I'm in a business environment on a day-to-day -day basis, whether that be wearing a suit or business casual. So it's not like a jeans, shorts, flip-flops type of environment. So I needed some um, clothing that actually interested me. I liked a little bit of style. Uh, I'm not a huge fan of uh, dockers and pleated pants. I always say you can never trust a man with pleated pants, but that's just my opinion. Um, so <clears throat> I started looking um, probably about 2015 what was out there and I came across Bluffworks on Kickstarter. And in fact, I came across their Gramercy blazer um, at the time, that was 2016, and so I backed them and that effort back in 2016. Since then, it has been all downhill from there for me on uh, Bluffworks. I kind of went all in on a lot of their uh, clothing because it is designed well, it uses fantastic materials, I don't have to iron anything, which I do not like to do in the first place, um, and uh, it really fits well. Um, so this video is going to be about, specifically we're going to do a walk around their chino uh, slacks. Uh, these are my favorite slacks. But I wanted to show you that, you know, again, I've kind of went all in. We've got their suit, their Gramercy blazer suit. I've got some of their original regular fit uh, pants. I've got some of their newer uh, ascender chinos which I'm just trying out now I have one pair of these that I'm really checking out and I have one of their original um, forays into the long sleeve kind of dress shirt travel shirt uh, environment which it's one of my favorite shirts but again today we're gonna talk about uh, their chinos um, and uh, full disclosure I own one of every color of their chinos and um, even some of the colors that they don't offer anymore. So, uh, favorite chinos, let's take a look at them. Before that, let's get a little background on Bluffworks, okay? So Bluffworks, founded by Stefan Lobel, right, out of New York City. His goal was to create clothing line that was quick drying, uh, had unique design details. You could use it on travel and for many days at a time, without washing potentially, not have to worry about um, ironing, wrinkles, smell. And so that was kind of his, his thought is well-designed, well-fitting, um, travel type of clothing that you could wear every day, whether you bike to work, whether you're on an airplane with your clothing folded up in your suitcase and pop it out and be ready to go um, in a professional environment. And so I really liked that that style and that thought process that really fit well with what I was looking for and kind of my lifestyle. So um, let's take a look at these um, chinos. Now I don't, they make two sizes, right? And kind of all of their pants. They make um, typically a more slimmer um, tailored fit or a regular fit. Now I am, um, for reference, and I'm gonna, I'll show you how these fit on me. 
I am six foot two. Um, fluctuate between 190, 195 pounds, depending on how many tacos I eat. And um, these fit me perfectly. I have not had to have these tailored at all. And again, these are the regular fit chinos. I have tried their slimmer fit ones. I found them to be a little too slim for me um, and my build. Again, 6'2", 195, 190 pounds. I wear a size 33 waist, 32 inseam in these, and these fit perfectly. As with all of their clothing, they have very unique design details. What I like about these is they're thought out for travel. So if you are traveling overseas, there are many security pockets and organization pockets in their pants. Now these are 100% polyester. They have kind of when you have them on, not a shiny sheen to them, but there is a sheen to them that's different from their kind of original pants, which is a different material altogether. And I like this material. Some people um, like it, some people don't. I think it works out really well for me, especially in the environment that I'm wearing these in. Um, they provide a little bit of stretch. The crotch is uh, gusseted, so you have a lot of stretch and ability to bend, move. Um, you're not really restricted. Uh, two of both of their pockets are kind of like dress pocket cut, right? Normal chinos. Each pocket has uh, a zipper. Uh, in them so you can if you are traveling you can hide uh, secure your passport or money whatever the case may be they also have a, a change pocket internal to these um, the rear pockets one pocket on your left side is a zipper pocket so again providing some security and then your other rear pocket is is wide open um, so you can drop items in there the other nice thing that they've done with their slacks is they have incorporated a cell phone pocket. So I have um, an iPhone XR at the time of this video. I'm sure it'll be different uh, down the road with how often I change things up. Um, and that iPhone XR fits in here perfectly for me. Um, there is a hem in the bottom of this pocket where if you have a larger phone, like let's say, uh, you know, kind of the plus size phones that are out there, whether it's an iPhone 7, 8, whatever the case may be, you can take that hem out so the phone sits down a little bit farther in the pocket, but it's kind of nice, right? So I can put it kind on my hip pocket. It's a little bit tucked out of the way. I don't got to have it in my front pocket sticking out, kind of looking on professional, especially if you have a larger phone. Um, and the fit on these are fantastic. Um, I really like these pants. I have uh, my cart with Bluffworks has a few new items from them in it that's just sitting there. I'm determining whether I want to pull the trigger uh, and order them or not. Um, since coming out with their blazer and some of their original pants, they've really kind of expanded their line. Um, shirts, technical t-shirts, vests, um, I think they have a hat out. Um, they had some shorts at one time. I actually tried their shorts. I didn't care for the fit of their shorts. Um, so maybe down the road they'll come out with some new shorts that fit a little bit differently. They just came out with um, some jeans as well as um, kind of some performance polos. And so Stefan or um, the Bluffworks team, if you're watching this, uh, I have my eyeballs on the jeans uh, as well as the polo uh, shirt that you all have came out with. That's what's sitting in my cart right now. I'm trying to decide if I want to pull the trigger and spend the money on it and give those a test run. And I, I'm probably going to, but Feel free if you want me to do a review on those, uh, go ahead and shoot them my way. Uh, anyways, these pants, my favorite. I enjoy them. Uh, I think if you try out uh, Bluffworks uh, chinos, if you work in kind of a business casual environment, um, you'll like them. I wear with the chinos, I will wear that Gramercy blazer uh, with it, which is in a navy blue. They make uh, you know quite a few colors out there, um, but you can also wear their blazer with their suit. So really versatile. I can also wear a pair of chucks with these um, for more of a casual kind of look and you know, a v-neck t-shirt um, or a polo untucked with these and they look just as good. So super versatile. I take them out of my luggage if I'm traveling. I don't have to worry about wrinkles. The durability of these are second to none. I mean, I wear these 
every day, right? So one version of the color every day of the week, um, off and on for the last few years. I haven't had any issues with anything being worn out any of the stitching coming undone. Um, once in a while you'll have some frays in the stitching where you need to clean those up with a pair of, you know, nail clippers or scissors just um, to get rid of those. But that's just, you know, washing your clothing over and over again, wearing them every day. Um, it really kind of starts to, um, uh, you know, you're gonna have those minor things. One thing that I don't care for, um, I have a pair of their dark gray as well as um, their navy blue chinos. Um, if you keep things in your pockets, um, like keys or things along those lines, eventually you'll see some lighter marks in your pockets. Um, I don't know if it's a wear mark, but um, you'll see some lighter marks um, in the material external to something that may be bulky or rigid in, in your pockets. So kind of keep that in mind. After I wash them, that goes away, but I think that has to do with kind of the darker material and then, you know, if you have a wear against it. But the material doesn't wear out, so it's not thinner in there. It just kind of leaves like a little bit lighter. Um, area. Once I wash them, that's usually cleared up. So, so yeah, check out Bluffworks. I think you're going to like them uh, as much as I do. Uh, I've been waiting on this review kind of for a little while, trying to determine how I wanted to do it. I wanted to hit the ones that I wear the most. Um, if you're interested in me doing a review on the suit or even their new Chino Ascender or Ascender Chinos, let me know. Um, drop me a comment and I can look into doing a review of that. Um, anyways, Guys, thanks for sticking around. Thanks for checking it out. Check out my new shirt. I'm taking a look at some of those things. This is a American Apparel shirt um, that I have made up and uh, I kind of like it. So I'm doing a little advertising of the, of the channel also. Thanks for sticking around. You got a niche. Is it a business casual itch? If it is, go ahead and do a little scratchy scratchy with Bluffworks. I'll see y'all next time. Take care.